four days after Malaysia Airlines Flight 17 was apparently shot down by Ukrainian rebels, emergency workers were finally granted access to the crash site to recover the bodies. Most wore masks due to the stench of decomposing corpses and human remains strewn over an area estimated to be between 10 and 20 miles long. Here, an emergency worker is seen cutting through aircraft seatbelts to free the body of a victim. Other workers are spotted searching a wheat field for remains. Adding to the tension, the Ukrainian emergency workers were closely observed by heavily armed pro-Russian fighters, many wearing masks to hide their faces. How many bodies have thus far been recovered? The plane had 298 passengers on board, including 80 children. According to a representative of a European monitoring group, an estimated 169 bodies have been tagged and were being held in refrigerated train carriages. Ukraine officials have said the location and disposition of the other 98 passengers is still unknown. Who's in control of the bodies? Armed rebels forced emergency workers to hand over all the bodies. They were transported in trucks to refrigerated rail cars in the city of Torres, nine miles from the crash site. A train is guarded by armed rebels, one of them wearing a t-shirt that depicts a Russian soldier during the Crimea annexation. Will the process of identification begin here? A representative of the OSCE, the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe, suggests not. I don't think the facilities are there in place for uh, you know, extensive identification work to happen. So presumably it would be better to move it somewhere to a safer area where that all can happen. Where will the train take them? They're disputing accounts of what happens next. Russian news agencies said the bodies were headed to the rebel stronghold of Donetsk. Ukrainian officials said they expect to have the bodies eventually delivered to a government-held city, but it's unclear if the rebels will agree to do so. What are the families of the victims being told to expect? Dutch forensics experts started visiting the homes of the next of kin across the country Saturday to collect DNA samples and descriptions of the victims, but they admit they have no idea when they would be able to use that information to identify the bodies in Ukraine. The frustration level of the families continues to grow. They have to come back. Some calling on Russian President Vladimir Putin to help get their loved ones' bodies home. Give the bodies back. Mr. Putin sends my children home. Send them home. Please. 